official watches. Ultimate Timekeepers of UCMMA. My name's Alf Yours, fighting out of the MMA Terror Squad. Um, living in Dagenham, I'm 20 years old. My name's Ruben Lindo, I'm 19 years old, and I'm fighting out of Dan Harris Fighting Fitness. Um, been training hard, sparring, a lot of groundwork, a lot of stand up. I'm just ready to go. I've been doing a lot of sparring, just a lot of wrestling as well. Ruben, it's going to be a good fight. We've both been talking the talk, now let's just get on. Let's go. Alfie, be ready, because you ask for a you're going to get one. In a bout sponsored by Spearmint Rhino. In the red corner, weighing in at 75.5 kilograms. Representing MMA Terror Squad. With one winner, no losses. It's Alfie Howes. In the blue corner. Weighing in at 76.6 kilograms. Representing Harris Fight Fitness with a record of one winner, no losses. It's Ruben Lindo! Your referee is Sam Amidi. Big nasty there, wrapping his little brother, Ruben Lindo, to the cage. And they've both got a big fan base here. But that puts Ruben under a lot of pressure. Alfie Hawes here. Straight into it. He's long, he's rangy. Ruben looked to get that takedown, but changed tact. Nice low kick there from Alfie. Started explosively. It's a very fast paced fight, Rob. Good check there by Ruben. Nice jab there from Ruben on the way in. Now, Alfie. Pause, corner, telling him to level change and shoot in for a takedown. Ruben Lindo there, he just spat his gum shield out. Referee's called a timeout while it gets replaced. He can't do that on purpose. Spitting your gum shield out. Intentionally is a foul. The referee will allow it to go once. If it happens again, he'll have a word. The action resumes. That's a nice road kick there, Rob, from Alfie. Yeah, it's comfortable. He goes for the shoot. Doesn't quite get it. Alfie Hall's there, he's already feeling the pace of the ferocious first minute of this round. Good combination there, Grant. Finishes it with a kick. Alfie Hall's 
proving to be the busier of the two right now. Although that wasn't quite to plan. And now Ruben Lindo takes mount position and fires away. And he's fans Alfie are Hall's going. in trouble. Ruben Lindo looks to climb the back. Slips out. Alfie looking to pull that single leg, doesn't quite get it. Ruben with his hands on his fires, needs to be careful. The pace of this fight is going to tell its toll, Rob. They're going to, both going to be exhausted at the end of this first round. Nice shot there from Ruben. Looks to be in deep. That's the last 10 seconds of this round. Let's it go from mount position. Ruben gives his back. Saved by the bell, Grant. Well, saved by the bell. We don't know if the fight would have been over, but that was a bad position for Ruben Lindo to be in. An action-packed first round. So they're underway. Big shots being thrown. Stop fast! Guillotine! Get out of the door! Knee! Knee! Out knee! It's such a dynamic fight, the position is changing. Knee out! One minute they're in a great position for strikes, the next minute. Out! This is your! Again, on it! On it! There's a guillotine opportunity or at a takedown, then it changes. Good work by Ruben, just slipping under and making himself disappear from the position he was in. But right now, Alfie trying to work that guillotine choke. One arm on. Ruben defends, pops his head free. He pops his head out. And at the end of that first round, when he was on top, he was landing some very effective strikes. Alfie's got control of Ruben's wrists, Alfie, making it difficult Alfie, for him to strike. Alfie, Good Alfie. shot down the pipe there, Grant. Alfie Hawes is going to pop back to his feet. Alfie there complaining to the ref about a kick that was directed to his head while he was on the ground, but it didn't land. He's going to go for that guillotine again. Alfie goes in. Pulls him to canvas, body locks on. Is the guillotine in? Well, there's one thing about unfortunate people who've got that stuff on their head, Rob. Um, what's it called? Hair. That's right. <laughs> it makes it much more difficult to slip out of submissions such as a guillotine. Although well, he's out. <laughs> he is out. Now that was a very well-timed kick. Take that, I want to take that. Elfie, let that right go. Let that right go, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, yes. Put it on it. That was a knee to the head. In WC MMA rules, a knee to the head of a standing or downed opponent is illegal. Elfie, Elfie. It was a glancing blow. Him, Elf. Let's go. Elf, Elf, and it wouldn't have actually been as damaging as some of the legal Elf, shots Elf. that have landed. However, it is the duty of our referee, Sam Amidi, to warn Ruben. I'm not sure that it was maliciously intentional, but if it happens again, he'll find himself with a point deduction. Alfie comes forward again now. Ruben on his back foot. You just feel that somebody like Alfie Hawes with his superior range over Ruben Lindo, you'd think he'd keep the fight in the middle of the cage and use that extra range to land some good strikes. Well, he tried to take down there, slipped straight through, ends up on his back. He's gonna eat shots at the end of this round. And there we go. 
The bell tolls, ending the round. So here we go, everything to fight for here in this final round. Show me how much you want this. Yes. Alfie Hawes, Ruben Lindo. Lindo with the judo hip toss, beautiful work. Yeah, that's a sign of a, of a mixed martial artist. Where you can bring in techniques from other styles. Good head control by Ruben, but needs to do more with it. Neither, neither fighter are really overly dominant in, in any one area. There's that hip throw again, Rob. Beautiful, it works twice. And he could get full mount, no. Those shots are landing on the back of the head, he needs to be careful. Nice jab. And here's that guillotine Ruben, attempt again. Ruben seems to be complaining to the referee about something. That guillotine's tight, Rob. I think Ruben's going to have his head free, though, Grant. He's working the arms, peeling it away. He's working the wrist. He's going to pop out. There we go. That was in tight, though, I can assure you. This is the final round. Beautiful. There's a triangle. Gets it in, Grant. That was very slick indeed. Just needs to lock that in nice and tight, pull the arm across. And not to be Hold unexpected, as one of the students of Hewitt, Spencer Hewitt Hold from down, Terror Squad, down. that triangle is in deep. Alfie, come on top! Alfie, come on top! Alfie, come on top! He's pulling the cage. Punch it, punch it! That's it. Ruben Lindo's head right above our position, taking shots. Ruben Lindo's going to have a hard job escaping his position, but that's exactly what he's done. Alfie Hawes takes the back now, looks for the rear naked, and the arm looks to be in. It's under his chin, but he's got to get his hooks in and flatten Ruben Lindo out. It's under his squeeze. chin, it's very close squeeze. to finishing it, Rob. You've got it out to squeeze. And you can hear the 10 the second tracker. Screaming. Squeeze, squeeze. With seconds to go, can he finish it? It's over. Three rounds of incredible WC MMA action. Right at the last second. Alfie Hawes very, very, very close to finishing that fight, but we go to the judges' scorecards. Cha, cha, cha. Okay, listen. I hate to do this, but before we go to the judges' scorecard, I spoke to both the corners. They, of course, they both think their guys won, but I just want to say the respect that both them guys give at the end of the fight, that is what it's all about in here. They go to war, the respect they show. Massive round of applause for Ruben and Alfie. Top dogs. What a fight! After an amazing fight, your judges have scored it a split decision. Ooh. Your winner from the blue corner is Ruben Lindo! Please show your appreciation for Alfie Hawes. Alfie, look, I've got to speak to Alfie because you're thinking, another 10 seconds, I'm there. I underestimate you because you are an absolute animal in the cage. You've got the length, the reach, you've got Spencer. Unbelievable, unbelievable. But the respect afterwards, that's what all goes back to. You're not the seven bells and it's shaking hands at the end. Who do you want to say thank you to, Alfie? You're a great load of fans out there. My whole team, my fans, and just everyone who's been involved around me over the years. Yeah. Listen, 
Alfie Hawes, I want him back. That is a true warrior. You're running up, Alfie Hawes. Ruben, you just made a whole lot of people over here really, really happy. <laughs> um, it was a close call. He had the height, he had the reach advantage over you, but we, you know, that didn't bother you. You was in and out. Your movement was beautiful throughout all three rounds. Um, I just know we've got so much more to see from you. Um, they're training you like beasts. Um, You've got a whole heap of people that are going to be with you the whole way. So I'm just really looking forward to where you've got to go. Uh, is there anyone you'd like to say thank you to? Firstly, I want to thank Alfie, because he's the real dealer. Like, he's a tough bastard. And um, secondly, I want to thank God of Fools. So, like, she come first, but you know. But um, I want to dedicate this fight to my father. Like, he passed away on the 2nd of February, and, and this one was for him still. You've done him proud, very, very proud. Us. And one thing I'd like to say, listen, big nasty, you come down and you rap for us, you support your little brother, you're going crazy down there. How do you want to say you're a fan? Because I'm a big fan, my brother, everybody loves you. EDL based defense league and keep supporting my little bro. Ooh! Big nasty little.